Hi everyone, welcome. It's me, Lori Lytle from Inner Goddess Tarot. So today I'd like to share with you a three card spread that I've been using uh, with a lot of success <laughs> and interesting results, good results, meaningful results. So um, I've called it my New Year Manifestation Tarot reading. So there it is. I'm going to share it with you in some detail. Um, but it's a great little spread when you don't have a lot of time, when you want to get a quick and to the point answer for yourself, perhaps in your morning card draw, or perhaps you're working um, an event, you know, reading tarot at an event when you only have 10 or 15 minutes and you've got to keep things moving, but you still want to give people a meaningful reading. So let's get right to it. So what's the point of this spread? It's the idea of thinking about uh, what you want to invite into your life, what you want to create for yourself, what idea you want to manifest and make real in the world in 2017. Um, so what we take a look at is, well here, let me show you this right again. So the first card that we have, number one there, is where am I now, right? So that can be really illuminating. The cards can give us an idea of um, where are we in regards to our questions? So where are we in our career, in our relationship, or just even wide open? Where are we? What's going on with me right now? And it might look exactly like what you expect or it might be totally different. So the information can be very strong there to give you an idea of, you know, what's going on with you right now. The second card is where do I want to be in 2017? So the first card I have here then the second card over here. So where do I want to be in 2017? Uh, I've done this in two ways and it can be very interesting. Um, that card, where do I want to be? You can actively pick it if you want. So look through the deck, find that image that resonates with you. That's, yeah, that's me in 2017, or that's the goal that I want to create. You know, so actively look through the cards with intention and choose that card. Or you can leave it up to the universe and just let the universe pick for you because it may show you something that you're not aware of, you know, something that you could create for yourself um, that isn't on your radar right now. Or, you know, if it comes up as something that looks kind of challenging or not so bright, you can ask yourself, why? <laughs> why do I want to create that? Where, why am I feeling like I want to be there? And maybe shift things a little bit if necessary. And then finally, that center card here, number three, is how can I get there? So that's that bridging card. You know, where am I now? Where do I want to be? Okay, how do I get there? What's going to serve me well on my quest to manifest my dreams? So that card um, gives us action steps, attitudes that might serve us well, information about how to bridge the gap from where you are now to where you want to be. So let's give it a quick try. So for me, um, I'm going to actively pick that second card, where do I want to be? Okay, so I'll show you that when I go through the spread. The other two cards, I'm just going to let the, the universe choose for me. So let's start with, where am I now? Okay, where am I now? This should be interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, okay. The cards don't lie. <laughs> so where am I now? Two of Swords. So um, I feel like there's a lot of strength in this card. There is focus, you know, it's, it's taking me a lot of strength to, to hold those swords up there. Um, but why am I not moving forward? What is holding me back, right? So this Two of Swords often comes up when a decision needs to be made. You know, do I do this? Do I do that? Or when you have options in front of you and you can't decide between them, between them so you are kind of, you know, kind of stuck until you make that decision. Um, and because it's swords, I think, you know, this card is telling me I need to make some decisions, but perhaps I should be thinking a, a little bit more logically clear cut instead of um, always leading with my heart or, I mean, I, it pains me even to say it, <laughs> but maybe not just intuition and heart. Maybe it's time for some clear cut decisions using logic and information. So this is telling me get the information that I need. Uh, take the time that I need to think things through so that I can make a good decision to move forward in 2017. 
Okay. And so the card, ironically, you know, the card that I chose for myself, the second card, where do I want to be? So here I am right now. Where do I want to be? The star. Of course, who wouldn't want to be the star? So I chose the star because I want to be feeling this kind of freedom, this kind of gentle optimism. I want to be able to be who I am um, unapologetically, freely, you know, just letting my light shine out into the world and being able to embrace the vulnerability that that brings, you know, showing everyone this is really me. Um, take it or leave it, like in a gentle way, <laughs> not in an aggressive way. But this is me. I'm shining my light and my gift and my self out into the world. So that's where I want to be. So let's ask the cards, how can I get there? So how can I get from that Two of Swords to that lovely star? Let's see what they have to say. Okay, let's see. How can I get there? Oh, wow. So I got another two. Two of Wands. So I really like this card. See, there I am looking out over the horizon with the literally with the world in my hand. So this feels like, you know, there, there's still a card of dreaming, but there's passion here, getting fired up about something, realizing that you really do have something wonderful in your grasp. You just have to go out into the world and make it happen. So this is a much more passionate, fiery, warm card than that Two of Swords. So it's telling me, you know, I still need still need to make some decisions but what will help me is to widen my perspective not to limit myself you know and that two of swords maybe I'm tying myself in in knots a little bit in my head um, you know feeling how can I say it's a, it's kind of a cool card right like so I feel like some logic is necessary to make the decision but then you know go forward with excitement and passion and know that I have so much potential and so much um, possibility in front of me so dream get excited see what's out there for you change your perspective and then carrying that energy of the wants to actually go out there and make something happen, right? Dream big, don't limit myself, go out into the world and make it happen. And then I can get back into that lovely gentle energy that I enjoy so much that I just revel in in the star. So that gives you a little taste of the power of this three card spread. Where am I now? Where do I want to be? How can I get there, right? So how can I get there? This two of wands, that energy is going to carry me through to my dreams this year. So I really like that. Great. So I encourage you to give this spread a try. Try it for yourself. Try it for uh, friends, family, clients, and let me know how it works for you. And if you're interested in exploring this idea further of how to manifest your dreams in 2017 uh, with the help of the tarot, then please visit my website at innergoddesstarot.com and uh, take a look at some of the specifically New Year themed readings that I have on offer there. Great. Thanks. And I wish you all the best for 2017.